and welcome to this video on time series forecasting where we continue our discussion on sarima and sarimax where we saw how the arima model is modified to introduce a seasonal component right you can call it a seasonal arima where we had our original idea of the order for auto regression q was for moving average and d denoted the differencing or the integration that we did right so now when we talk about seasonal arima we are introducing additional auto regression moving moving average and differencing which correspond to the seasonal factor of your data right so this would correspond to uh, a certain seasonality and you would define your seasonality in terms of say if your season was one year where you could be discussing the onset of monsoon right where certain precipitation is being measured or you could talk about a certain festival that is recurring say that's your seasonal data and your original idea of lags for the sarima model or uh, for the yes for sarima we had the original idea of a lag of one month right or lags were defined in in that sense right this would be t all right so if we said we had five lags you're talking about uh, t minus one going up to t minus five, right? Here, if we have one year as the seasonality, that would essentially be defined as 12 times R, uh, or essentially you could say 12 times one, right? Where one introduced, one was talking about the original lag, okay? So that becomes, if we if we're talking about one lag for the seasonality, right? We are talking about 12 months or one year. If you're talking about two lags, where the seasonal element is concerned, we're talking about 24 months or two years. So these are the orders that we would define inside our model, right? We're getting this in Python from statsmodels.tsa. Right, from here we import our, when we import, we go for Surimax. Let's try and understand where the X is coming from. So our model would have Surimax, which talked about the time series data, it would give the order which referred to our PDQ values, right? These could be, of course, iterated over several values. Let's say we have it defined as some fixed values, right? And uh, allot that to order, right? So if order is allotted to this, you would have the subsequent values over there as a list. And uh, if you had the seasonal order given by capital PDQ, then we also have another parameter for the seasonal order inside our model. Lastly, we have an exogenous component, right? Where we could give some kind of data, let's say it is data x or x op, all right? Which is referred, referring to some parallel kind of time series, which is not directly related to our original time series. It accounts for any kind of external effects that we are trying to incorporate into your Sarima model. So there we, we call that as exogenous data, right? And introduce that as part of our model. So that essentially becomes a, a sorry, maximum. Right. So where we had Arima earlier, we are able to introduce seasonality, right? 
and also talk about bringing in external data as part of our Cerimax model when we are using the Python modeling. Under statsmodel.tsa, we introduce both Cerima as well as Cerimax. Of course, if we are talking about not having any external data, this by default will be ignored. All right. So we can operate both Cerima and Cerimax in the same framework.